Hey guys, how we doing today? My name is JMac, and first, before I start the video and get into it, I just wanted to do a couple of announcements. So, the first announcement is thank you guys so much. We just recently hit 2,000 subscribers. That's pretty incredible considering where I was at. So, wanted to give a uh, special thank you guys to all of you that are uh, joining me freshly because of uh, a certain particular YouTuber, one of my, uh, one of my, uh, you know, favorite YouTubers, I would say, uh, Ziri Gaming or Ziri Eleven. Uh, thank you for the shout out, by the way. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed both of your packages that I sent you. If you're watching this, uh, so there's the first one. Uh, I will be doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway, but that will be for the second part of the video. But uh, the other announcement I wanted to make was that I do have an official Instagram for the channel. I'll leave a picture up on the screen. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Also, I will put a link on my eBay down below as well if you guys are interested in seeing what other kind of cards I sell and all that jazz. I do like to put up a lot of cards, trying to push out a little bit of my inventory, which that will be its own video. I will give you guys a little bit of an inventory tour of what I actually own. Uh, but once again, back into the giveaway real quick. All you got to do is subscribe and leave a comment down below uh, and tell me how, tell me anything. Tell me what you feel about this channel, any improvements I can make, anything that you enjoy. Tell me anything in the comments. Um, I will be doing a comment generator and I will be picking out a comment who leaves one down below. Um, so for the contest, the winner of it will be receiving a SGC graded 6.5 of a 1980, 1981 OPG Wayne Gretzky record breaker card. Uh, in decent shape, a little bit faded out, obviously, but, uh, so yeah, I'm hoping one of you guys could, uh, enjoy this, uh, I definitely feel like it's a good thing to give away, uh, especially a Wayne Gretzky, um, you know, record breaker card, uh, so I hope you would enjoy this, so if you do want to join the contest, once again, please leave a comment down below, uh, tell me anything, tell me whatever you want, uh, how's your day going? Uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite hockey product? How you feel about Upper Deck recently? Do you feel like there's another competition coming in? Some interesting points. Uh, what was your favorite product in the 21 22 or 2021 season? Uh, the last product we have is the cup, but uh, yeah, put a comment down below and I will be picking one probably within a month of the uh, time I release this video and I will be picking a winner for the contest. So um, if you want to, if you want to win this card, uh, shipping included and everything like that, go ahead and put your, um, put your comment down below and hopefully uh, one of you will enjoy the card as much as I do. So um, there is the, um, there's the two announcements. So let's go right into the video. I've been probably anticipating this video for a while. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, how are we doing today? My name is Jay Mac. Today we are back with another video. We're not up here with an unboxing today. We're actually going over my top 25 cards in my collection. I've I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. I've just haven't had the time to, but I do have all my cards up on my side here, right there. Um, and I've got them ready to go. And I'm not, if I mess up, honestly, I feel like I'm not too sure on some of them. Um, tell me if you feel like one should be higher than the other and whatever do you think but um we're gonna go right into this of my top 25 cards uh the first one is actually an honorable mention just because it's uh president's choice and president's choice doesn't honestly get a lot of love but i feel like this is a really cool card in my opinion i opened a couple boxes of president's choice and i don't remember if i showed this on the channel or not but uh it's Definitely a good Habs card. If you're a Habs fan, you'll definitely like it. So uh, number 20 or 26, I guess. Honorable mention, we got a Nick Suzuki uh, President's Choice Stick Rack. Game used stick rack here. Uh, obviously stick here. Number 10 of 10. So that's a nice one there. But yeah, uh, a 2020 Spring Expo uh, piece here from uh, one of Nick Suzuki's sticks. Uh, very nice looking uh, stick there too. But um, yeah, Nick Suzuki, one of the hotter rookies coming out of the 2019-20 season, um, will really lit it up for Montreal, especially when it came to the playoffs. He was super electric. So, um, yeah, this is a honorable mention card. So here is a Nick Suzuki, uh, stick rack, um, game use stick. So there's that. All right. So now going on to number 25, uh, this is basically going to be in order by 
how much I like the card, honestly. Um, I haven't really showed you guys too much of my collection, so we're just going to go ahead and get started right now. Um, one of my favorite pulls, actually, just because I do like the Legend pulls. I do like Legend cards, so. Um, first one is from 1920 Clear Cut. I believe this is from 1920 Clear Cut. It was from 1920 Clear Cut. Um, so, first card here, number 25, we have a uh, Pat LaFontaine Retro Clear Cut Auto Card from Clear Cut. Um, I forget the design year. I really honestly do. I can't believe I forget it. I think it's like 9091, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, this is old retro upper deck here. A very clear card. But uh, Pat LaFontaine doesn't really get a lot of love in the hobby, to be honest with you. So um, I'm very happy to have one of his autos. So um, yeah, there's a Pat LaFontaine uh, clear cut auto from 1920 clear cut for number 25 now at 24 we have one from the cup here and uh speaking of the man that uh, helped me get to 2000 subscribers uh, i know he would really appreciate a card like this so uh number number 24 we have a cup rpa of cardiver hagee um number 244 249 uh very interesting auto we kind of have the curl and then the double curl i don't i think it's like a c and then a v but um, yeah, the auto is a little bit faded, but it's actually not bad. So uh, yeah, very nice RPA here. Uh, we got a nice clean white, black, white, blue. So a three color patch here. It's not too bad. So um, yeah, here's a cup RPA of Carter Verhage. I actually really like this one. So Carter Verhage is a really up and coming player. Uh, I've been playing with Florida for a uh, year, a little bit over a year now. Um, he's got a lot of potential. So there's a Carter Verhage rookie patch auto from the cup. All right, coming in at number 23, we also have another rookie patch auto, but this one's not from the cup. We have it from Exquisite, actually. And to be honest, this player is a little bit better um, than Carter Verhage. Um, so, and it's actually a lower number two. This is number 26. So um, at number 24 or 23, oh boy, um, 20, 23, yeah, 23. Uh, we have a rookie auto patch from Exquisite Collection of Oliver Wallstrom, number six of 26. So a uh, very nice patch indeed. This is uh, from uh, Exquisite. I don't remember where I pulled this from. I honestly can't remember, but um, I'm very, very excited to look at the card. I just like the good contrast of the blue to orange to white. That's really nice too. And plus it got a little bit of blue in the corner down here, but um, auto looks pretty good. So yeah, here's a nice cup, or not cup, um, exquisite RPA of Oliver Wallstrom. So there that, Oliver Wallstrom, I'll always remember Oliver Wallstrom from uh, when they had a little uh, junior shootouts, one-on-one uh, -on -one shootouts when uh, TD Garden was doing those. And they would have like the young kids come in, they were like 10, 11, 12 years old coming in and doing shootouts. And he actually did the little cross move. It was like one of the first times that I had ever seen it um, come from like a junior. And he was uh, about 10, 11 or 12. The goalie literally didn't move. If I find uh, if I find a small clip of it, I'll put it up. <laughs> but yeah. Here's a Oliver Wallstrom uh, exquisite patch auto, rookie patch auto from Exquisite. All right, coming in at number 22, I know I had pulled this off camera probably some time ago. Uh, it's, it was a Panini product. I wasn't too sure on it. I had opened it up and I was very happy I did. I was kind of in a rush opening this box because I was excited to open it. But um, as most of you know, I am a Bruins fan. Uh, yeah, hit, the, hit me with the boost. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure anybody can appreciate this card. Uh, he's a stud defenseman, uh, played with Boston, got traded away, um, and now he's playing for the New Jersey Devils. So from Panini 2013-14 Crown Royal is a Dougie Hamilton rookie patch auto, silhouette rookie patch auto, a three color here, number 10 to 25, by the way, 10 of 25. Um, nice auto there of Dougie Hamilton. It's actually the first time I've seen a Dougie Hamilton auto, but, um, yeah, nice patch there, three color there. Uh, obviously the edge ring of the logo and very nice auto there, of course. But uh, yeah, I was in a rush opening this box and I really was kind of just blown away. But yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, cup RPAs. I do have more Bruins cup RPA, or not, this isn't a cup RPA, but I do have other uh, Bruins uh, rookie patch autos that I've been building and holding on to, but this is probably one of my favorites, but um, yeah, here is a Dougie Hamilton rookie patch auto from 1314 Crown Royal. 
All right, coming in at number 21, this is actually kind of a surprise for me. I did open this, I think it was in a boom box. I can't remember too sure, but it's kind of a surprise because I didn't think I would keep it this high, but I do like the player. Um, he just really hasn't had too much of a chance, but it is from SPA. It's from 1819 SPA. Uh, it's a future watch auto patch of Ely Tovenin, number 39 of 100. I know he's number 11, so uh, it doesn't really match there. But um, yeah, very nice patch here. You got the three colors here, and then you got the jersey. So um, I don't really know what part of the patch that's from. I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, Ely Tovenin is a, uh, I mean, he's kind of losing a little bit of his uh, window, but I still think he's a good player. Um, and it's a nice patch too. So um, 1819 SPA of Ely Tovenin. Uh, very nice card here. I do think he's underrated, especially in the prospect pool, but um, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, here is a Ely Tovenin Future Watch Auto Patch number 39 of 100. All right, coming in at number 20 is actually a uh, a very recent development on this man here. Uh, it's, a, it's a man who recently went to try to go to arbitration and he recently got traded to a specific team down south of the border and... He is in the southern part of this country too now, um, but uh, I ve very underrated this uh, this card until I uh, until I started learning more about uh, this man himself. But uh, he's the oldest kid. We got a premier rookie patch auto of Matthew Kachuk number uh, wrong way. It's number 45 of 299. So a uh, very nice uh, patch here. You got a four color patch. I do like that aspect. So this is obviously the top of the C in Calgary Flames, but um, decent auto, not a lot of fade there. So that's really good. So yeah, Matthew Chuck is now a member of the Florida Panthers. Florida Panthers are looking better and better. Uh, same with the Ottawa Senators. Uh, this uh, Eastern Conference, the Atlantic is gonna be absolutely ridiculous this year. Um, the way that I see it, top five teams are going to be Toronto, um, Florida, Tampa, Ottawa, and Boston. Um, that's kind of how it is. And I honestly think Boston's not going to make the playoffs this year unless they make some moves or do something because they still haven't signed Bergeron or Krejci yet. But yeah, whatever. So uh, here is a rookie patch auto from Premier of Matthew Kachuk. Definitely a lot of potential there. So that's a good one here. All right, number 19. You guys have actually seen this. Uh, I believe I pulled it last year. It was in a boom box. I remember it for sure. It's just one of my favorites. I haven't pulled one a card like this uh, before. And it kind of stinks that it's a sticker, but it's, uh, you know, it's nice nonetheless. So. Um, yeah, so coming in at number 20, no, sorry, number 19, number 19, we have a Artifacts Felix Potvin um, card from Artifacts, number 44 of 45, so uh, very nice looking card here, of course, uh, very silly auto in my opinion, but uh, dual jersey auto nonetheless and i really wasn't expecting a legend card like this to pull from a boombox pack you know what i mean so um yeah from 2021 artifacts right 2021 yeah so yeah very nice card here in my opinion so i don't know if that's better or not but uh yeah the camera works not really cooperating today but yeah there's a nice dual jersey auto of felix potvin felix the cat so that's a nice one there all right, coming in at number 18, it's actually a uh, card. It's one of the first cards that I actually pulled from um, 1920 SPX when I, uh, that was one of the first card uh, boxes that I had opened. Uh, one of the bigger products that I had opened, to be honest with you, was 1920 SPX. And I didn't get anything good until I pulled this card. This was the last card that I pulled. And honestly, it's a really good card here. So um, it's a black obsidian scripts. Uh, Jersey Auto inscribed of Chris Chelios and I love that he put Honey Nut Chelios on the bottom it's a little smudged it came smudged I'm kind of unfortunate about that but uh, a game used Jersey piece nonetheless it's always nice to have you can see it in the back here it'll say game used Jersey but yeah it's always nice to get a legend autograph especially if it's inscribed and has a jersey piece on there so a little bit of black on the trim too a little bit of black there but uh yeah there's a black obsidian scripts number 21 of 25 of chris chelios all right coming in at number 17 it's honestly one of my 
weird favorites. It's just because I do like the player a lot, and uh, it's a very nice looking card. I think this is a short print. I think this is a short print or a super short print. Um, I did go into a break of 1920 clear cut some time ago, and I did get this card. It's just, it's not super valuable. It's just one of my favorites. So um, from 1920 clear cut, a ultimate rookies auto clear cut of Andre Svechnikov. Svechnikov is definitely one of my favorite players. Carolina uh, is a wildly good team, uh, very underrated. I think that once they get all their marbles in the same line, I think that they could make a serious run to the Stanley Cup. But it all starts with this guy. This guy is absolute stud. He can... He can, you know, move the puck. He can skate. He can, you know, deke out. He can hit. It's, it's, he can shoot. It's just unbelievable. This guy is one of the better power forwards in the league, and he's he's honestly fun to watch. So he's one of my favorite players in the league. But yeah, it's an unbelievable player. So just one of my favorites. So here is a clear cut from Ultimate Rookies of Andre Svechnikov at number seventeen. All right, coming in at number sixteen. If you've been with my channel for a long time, you will know where this card came from. It was the first card that I actually pulled on this channel way back in the day. Uh, I literally made it like a one minute clip of me pulling it, but um, I was very happy to grab it. And he's been absolutely lighting it up for the last three years. Um, ever since McDavid got hurt, he's been absolutely lighting it up. So uh, with number 16, I believe we're at 16, we have a OPG Red Rainbow Autographs of Leon Dreisaitl. It's such a gorgeous card. Leon Dreisaitl is, he was highly underrated until McDavid got hurt. Then he started absolutely lighting the lamp. He was the MVP of the 2019 season, 2019, maybe in 2020. I can't remember, 1920 or something like that. But um, yeah, Leon Dreisaitl is absolutely unbelievable. Was in the 2012 draft um yeah so here is a red rainbow auto from 1920 opg platinum of leon Dreisaitl. all right coming in at number 15 i've shown you guys this card before because it was a redemption when i opened up um what was it uh, i was the cup right it was this it was the cup um if you guys remember that video i did pull a redemption in there and i was glad to get the redemption back i'm not super excited about the patch but the uh but the name is good and the auto is a bonus so from the cup it was an exquisite endorsement relics rookie patch auto of igor shesterkin uh number nine of 50. i have looked at a few of these online and there are some a little bit better patches than this one um but it looks like it's taken a number from at least the three maybe um but yeah uh igor shesterkin rookie patch auto is nothing to you know nothing to be upset about at, at all so um he's proven himself in the league for at least the moment, uh, the Russian goalies are a little bit iffy, but uh, he so far has proven himself as a great um, successor to Patrick, Patrick, yeah, Hendrik Lundqvist. So um, obviously Hendrik Lundqvist is going to have his legacy. He's going to be one of the best goalie ran Rangers goalies of all time, but she's uh, Sturgeon's playing great right now. So um, here is a number 15. Yeah, number 15, we have exquisite endorsement relics of Igor Shishterkin. Coming in at number 14, this is actually a pretty recent pull. You guys seen this on my channel when we opened a box of Premier. The very overpriced Premier, by the way. A lot of these boxes are getting way overpriced. Um, just to add as a side note, like Black Diamond this is coming out in like a week from now. And that's rolling almost $400 per box, which is unbelievable. And that's for twenty-one twenty-two. dollars um, So it's kind of crazy. But um, nonetheless... We do have this uh, rookie patch auto. If you guys haven't seen it before, you'll be able to see it now. Uh, and here it is, a Alexi Lafreniere uh, rookie premier rookie patch auto gold number three of twenty five. Uh, very very nice card here. Uh, I was actually in shock when I pulled this. Uh, Lafreniere is a hard chase card to get. I pulled a few Lafreniere's back in you know back in the early twenty one twenty. 20, no 2021 20, days um but never actually pulled an auto and i actually got an auto patch of the gold version which is really nice so uh this is probably an r i'm gonna assume this is part of the r but 
um, a nice three color patch nonetheless. So there is a rookie patch auto from Premier of Alexi Lafreniere. Coming in at number 13, I'm done with the Rangers card. I promised two Rangers in a row. Um, we're going to be going to a, another patch auto. I believe this is a rookie because this is from 1718. Um, and this player came into the league. Um, and during the playoffs, I believe it was the 16-17 playoffs uh, against the Ottawa Senators. So this man came in. He's been a perennial defensive man. Uh, he, I, I've watched games before and he definitely makes his mistakes but he's definitely a top five defender in my opinion in the league so uh one of my favorite and underrated products just because they don't make it anymore is 2017-18 splendor uh rookie patch auto of charlie mcavoy number four of 11 it's just a nice looking card right you know what i mean it's just a nice looking card i don't know where the stripe would come from i'm gonna assume it's from the bottom trim or the sleeve um or actually it could just actually it's probably one of the pegs i just thought about that it's one of the pegs on the outside so i'm gonna assume it's either this one or this one on the end here but um nonetheless it's still a great orange color i do love it the great gold uh color that they have um and it's a charlie mcavoy so uh, i can't complain too much so yeah here's a charlie mcavoy splendor rookie patch auto i'm gonna call it a rookie patch auto it's not called that but i'm gonna call it a rookie patch auto uh number four of 11. all right coming in at number 12 i believe we're at number 12. uh we have another bruins card here um it's a i i feel like it should be not as high up on the list but for me this is just my favorite cards you know what i mean it's not like most valuable cards or anything like that it's my favorite card so um this one is from Premier. i when clutes and chara was doing a giant case break i ended up joining in selecting the bruins and um this is actually only one of the cards that i got out of it i do have another card that's coming up later in the video um but yeah this is a favorite card of mine and it is a quad patches of Brad Martian, Charlie McAvoy, Patrice Bergeron, and David Pasternak, number two of 11, or sorry, 10, two of 10. Uh, yeah, quad patches are very nice. I do like the look of it. You got a three color for Bergeron, you got a three color for McAvoy, and a couple of twos. Just missed out on both of these two for being three colors, but uh, very nice nonetheless. You got the outer rim here. You probably got the bottoms on knees or something like that, but um yeah very nice I do like to see that so a very nice quad patches of my favorite team so uh there is a quad patch from premiere of Pasternak, McAvoy, Martian, and Bergeron. All right coming in at number 11 is uh probably the start of my uh, weird player PC that I started like when I first started collecting uh very interesting i don't know why i started it but i've been kind of keeping up with it just because i've been getting lucky with this particular player um so uh this is actually one of four cards of this player so um without further ado we'll just introduce him this is from 1718 no sorry 1819 the cup we got a quad jersey foundations uh auto of nico he share number two of 15 here uh, I, I like how it's not just all one color. I like how it's not just one, you know, multiple pieces of napkin. Um, but, it, you know, very nice color combination there. I wish they were patches, but you can't get everything. So, um, very nice card here. I got this in a group break of the cup. And I was very excited to get Nico Hish here. I do like the Devils. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Nico is one of my favorite guys, of course. Nico's my boy, so... Um, yeah, here's a Nico Heeshear, the Cup Foundation Quad Jersey Auto for uh, 2 of 15, coming in at number 11, I think 11. All right, cracking into the top 10, uh, of course, like I said before, we're going to be doing three more of these kind of cards. So uh, the first one, uh, actually all three of these, I got into a group break and I got them all in separate groups. But um, yeah, I'm very happy about this one. I seem to have luck with buyback. I don't know why, but I seem to have good luck with buyback. So start off with the first one. We have a Nico Hishir Och Peachy Platinum Marquee Rookie Buyback Autograph number four of eight. 
do like the look of this card. Very nice. So um, buyback of Nico Heashier. Obviously, Heashier a little bit into him. He was the number one overall pick um, in the draft. He was drafted over Nolan Patrick. And in my opinion, obviously, Nico Heashier is the better player over Nolan Patrick. Right? Am I getting that wrong? I'm going to look like an idiot if I just said that Nolan Patrick was in the same draft class. But uh anyways uh yeah uh, nico he is definitely one of my favorite players i'm gonna assume so yeah um this is a obviously a buyback a buyback uh r rookie auto marquee rookie buyback uh from opg platinum number four of eight of nico he for number 10 all right now number nine we're kind of keeping in the same uh ballpark here with another buyback obviously um but we're kind of, like I said, keeping in the same ballpark. So without further ado, we have a different style of marquee rookie, uh, OPG, for this from regular OPG. But it's the platinum version, autograph of Nico Hishier, number six of six. So uh, a nice six there. So um, yeah, another buyback, of course. But um, yeah, there's another platinum card, and it's another Nico Hishier. So just to pull out the other one, just to do a little bit of comparison. These are what they look like. It's very interesting that they're both different, but um, obviously a little bit of different style. This one's OPG and this one's OPG Platinum. So um, yeah, both in his rookie year, so that's nice. So there is the six of six version of Nico Heashier. Coming in at number eight is, uh, like I said, we're kind of keeping the same theme for this last card, uh, is a buyback, but this one's a little bit different just because uh, it's a, uh, it's kind of a, kind of an interesting card here. So, um, we have and this one is from um that same class so they're from the same rookie class so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this and obviously we have one autograph there nico he sheer young guns uh obviously a buyback there but you can see it's numbered six of 15 there and if i lift up my finger a little bit it is a checklist and that checklist included a Brock Besser. A Brock Besser, Nico Heashier, dual auto buyback autograph, number six of 15, and number six being Brock Besser's number. So it's a uh, very, very nice card here. It's actually uh, from buybacks, but it's actually funny because I got this from a group break, and we also, in that group break, opened up this year's uh, rookie, uh, or sorry, series one, um, which has the checklist on obviously in it and we actually pulled the young gun checklist so um they ended up doing a split break and roll the dice and whoever whoever won the randomizer would win this card and it happened to be me and i was very gassed about it so um yeah so i do love this card a lot so yeah it is a, a dual auto buyback um from the series one checklist of 17 18 <clears throat> right, uh, 1718 of Nico Heesher and Brock Besser, number six of 15 for number eight, number eight, I believe. All right, coming in at number seven, um, I have, I've got the box still it's from this box here. I don't remember if I opened it on camera or not, but um, I definitely remember uh, seeing that there was a, it's actually funny. Hold on, give me one second. In that Splendor box was actually this. Uh, it was uh, the first thing that came in was uh, Splendid Starts of Nico Heashier. So I obviously kept that. So that was in there. But the other thing that was in there was a uh, Redemption. And the Redemption was um, expired, which I was pretty bummed out about. Uh, but I know Upper Deck does have a one year past the expiration date. Uh, what do they call it? One year uh, commitment that, you know, will exonerate that expired rule and will, uh, that will send you the card if they have it. So um, yeah, I was very upset when I saw it was expired. I contacted up a deck and they uh, said they had the card and they would send it out. So the card was a Timu Solani jersey autograph, number 25 of 27. Timu Solani, uh, the finish flash was unbelievable. Uh, I remember watching him play in Anaheim just because I was a fan of the Ducks back in that time when uh, Perry and Getzlaff and uh, Rob Niedermeyer were 
in JS Jaguar, we're absolutely lighting it up and making huge moves with uh, Anaheim, and that's when they were at their peak. That was probably one of their best teams. It was when Solani was on there, but um, yeah, this was the Splendor that was supposed to get in the box, obviously in that box. But um, yeah, I was very lucky to get this back. So um, yeah, here is a Splendor jersey auto of Timu Solani, number 25 of 27. And this one's number eight, I believe. So coming in at number six, uh, yeah, number six, the team is on, it was number seven. Uh, number six is a autograph of a guy that in all honesty, I should have me being a Bruins fan, but um, I won this in a group break and I'm very excited to have it. It's the only one I have um, a gemography auto of Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr, number four, Bobby Orr, uh, one of the greatest players of all time. One of them, not the, one of the greatest players of all time. One of, if not the best defenseman to ever play the game. In my opinion, he re he changed the game the way that, you know, the games play today. He reestablished the way that defenders were supposed to play. They weren't supposed to be sit at home. He took the puck up and he skated 200 feet across the ice to score goals and make plays. So, um, he changed the game, so in my opinion, he's the best defenseman of all time. But yeah, this is from, um, what year is this? 2009-10 uh, Black Diamond. So um, yeah, I did have this a little bit higher up on the list, but I decided to tone it back a little bit and not be so biased. But uh, yeah, here's a gemography auto of Bobby Orr. All right, coming in at number five. Yeah, number five. Um, you guys have not seen this card before. Um, I actually got it in this box right here. Uh, I won that cup uh, box in a randomizer. Um, and there was a lot of good cards in there. Uh, I do actually have, uh, once I show you my actual full collection, I do have another card that I have in there. But I'm actually going to be getting rid of it at some point. But uh, this was the best card to come out of here without a shadow of doubt. Um, it's a very nice card. It is a big spender card but um yeah it is a it is a limited logos of patrick kane number 17 of 25 uh patrick kane the buffalo boy an american one of the best americans of all time uh great autograph uh great logo here great on the number eight here um from the cup very nice card here it's something i probably won't get rid of it's it's my it's my favorite card from Chicago so which actually speaking of I will be doing a video on my favorite card from each NHL team um except for Seattle I did have a uh, clear-cut base of um Jordan Eberle but that can't make the card I gotta wait till I actually build momentum on that Seattle but it'll be from 31 NHL teams of my favorite card but yeah um this is my favorite Chicago card uh he is fantastic he's one of the greatest players to come out from the United States and yeah, so here's a limited logo from the cup of Patrick Kane, number 17 of 25. All right, coming in at number four. Um, this is actually one of my favorite cards because this is one of my favorite goalies of all time. And it's actually my older brother's favorite goalie of all time, too. He's, uh, all, you know, ageless wonder. He's been around the block a few times. And I do have an interesting story, too, as well, which I probably regret saying, but I will. Um, but this is, I got this out of a group break of Stature. This is the first year that Stature had come out, was in 1920. Um, so without further ado, we have a Martin Brodeur Stature Auto. And I don't think you can see the numbering, but it's number, can I get the light in there? Three of 10. Number three of 10, red, Stature red autograph number three of 10, Marty Brodeur. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite goalies of all time and one of the best goalies of all time, Montreal boy himself. But yeah, um, funny story. I did have another Marty Brodeur auto and it was actually a patch auto from Splendor, but um, I gave that to my brother as a gift because he is a bigger Marty Brodeur fan than I am. So I kind of regret giving rid of it, but um, give it to somebody who actually cares more about him than myself. But uh, anyways, I do have a nice consolation prize here. So here is a Martin Brodeur, uh Stature Auto, number three of 10. All right, cracking into my top three now. 
Um, if you guys remember what I said earlier in the video about a premiere break that I was in that had the quad patches, uh, this is the other card that I really took away that was in it as well. I do have other cards from that break, but they're not as good as this card in my opinion. Um, I do love the look of it. It's fantastic. So it is a Premier Inked Scripts number 21 of 25 of Ray Bork inscribed five-time Norris winner. One of my favorite cards. Ray Bork is an absolute legend. Um, he's he's a, a tough guy to hate, you know what I mean? Especially when he won the cup with Colorado. Even Bruins fans were very excited. They were cheering for Colorado in 2001, hoping that Bork would actually win it. But I do love the fact that he has his autograph and then the inscribed five-time Norris winner, of course. Um, but a very, very spe special card to me. So um, here is number three, a Premier Inked, Premier Inked Scripts inscribed number 21 of 25 of Raymond Bork. All right, coming in at number two now, um, an absolute legend of the game, one of the best players to ever play the game. Um, I really wish that this... Uh, jersey piece was better but you do have two slight colors on there which I'm not disappointed about um, it's from a gray jersey with some yellow on it um, he's one of the greatest Pittsburgh Penguins to ever play the game if not the best Pittsburgh Penguin to ever play the game Splendor Jersey Auto of Mario Lemieux number 11 of 36 and the only reason why I say it's two color because you can kind of see the second color in there, the yellow. But this is when they wore their gray jerseys sometimes, and I actually do like the look of the gray jerseys. But this Pittsburgh Penguins logo is actually elite, and I wish they went back to them for their, like, it was the 75th anniversary jerseys that they would wear, and I wish they went back to them. But um, nonetheless, this is a fantastic card. Obviously, a Mario Lemieux is no, you know, card to joke around about. Um, Low-numbered. It's a uh, two color. We're going to call it a two color and it's an autograph. So there is a Mario Lemieux uh, Splendor rookie jersey. Well, not a rookie. Uh, Splendor jersey auto number 11 of 36. And this is number two. Coming in at number one, if you guys have obviously seen um, Ziri open up my package, you guys would have seen that I did give him a card that I knew he didn't own. Um, the only reason why I, I did send it to him just to show how much appreciative I am of him for opening up the hobby for people like me to, you know, express their cards and everything like that and enjoy the hobby. Uh, I sent him that, um, as a gratification, but I also have, uh, another card that I decided to keep instead because I did enjoy the look of this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the decoy, make it a little bit special and hopefully you guys will enjoy the look of this card because i certainly do it's such a piece of eye candy so let's see here we go so it's from chronology of course a little bit of this you got some arms in the air right oh look at that oh is that 99 right there or was that take does that say gretzky is this from when he scored the game the most goals in an NHL career. Look at that autograph. 1819 chronology, timeless memories autograph of Wayne Gretzky. This is absolutely fantastic card. The gold looks unbelievable on this card. It's just such a piece of eye candy. And I knew when I was given Zeri the clear cut auto of Wayne Gretzky from Edmonton, I knew I'd be taking a hit on my Edmonton side, but this card is fantastic. I, I, I don't know if I'll be, I, I definitely won't give this away. I think this is a card that'll stay in my collection for a long time. So this is the number one card in my collection. Just, it's just a piece of eye candy, like I said. So um, that's how we're going to end it off. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for sticking through uh, a little bit of a longer video, but I figured it was time to show my top 25 cards. Uh, eventually I'll be showing you my favorite card from each team. I'll be showing you my whole collection. I'll show you what I have on there, what cards I'm selling at the moment and all that. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, have fun. And I hope you enjoyed looking at my collection. Look at how much it glimmers in the light so amazing so
Yeah, there it is.